Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today's my lecture is about introduction of the blood. At first, what is blood? Blood is a red, opaque, slightly alkaline, specialized fluid form of connective tissue, which is composed of a liquid intercellular substance that means plasma and form elements that circulate through the cardiovascular system, remaining in the extracellular compartment. In medical term, which is related to the blood, often begin with hemo or hemato, which is the Greek word, which means hema for blood. Why blood is called specialized connective tissue? Because it origin from embryonic mesoderm, and secondly, its intercellular substance is maximum, while cellular substance is minimum. Why they are called form element? Because they all are formed from the same stem cells found in the bone marrow. The normal total circulating blood volume is about 8% of body weight. That means 5600 ml in a 70 kg adult male or 70 to 80 ml per kg body weight or 2.5 to 4 liter per square meter body surface area. And in blood, about 55% of this volume is plasma. Circulating blood volume will be lesser than total blood volume because some amount of blood will be deposited in organ like liver. Blood is the most active component in extracellular fluid, which perform many important functions, which maintain the homeostasis. The functions are transport of gas, waste product, electrolyte, hormone, enzyme, etc., and regulation of pH, temperature, blood pressure, hormonal regulation, etc., and which gives protection us from infection, blood loss. If we think the functions of the blood cell individually, in case of red blood cell, this function is oxygen and carbon dioxide transport. In case of leukocytes, these are immunodefense and phagocytosis. And for thrombocytes, this is clotting. The normal value of this form element are in case of erythrocyte or RBC. In case of male, this is about 4.9 to 5.5 million per cubic millimeter of blood. And in case of female, this is about 4.2 to 5 million per cubic millimeter of blood. And the leukocytes count is about 4,000 to 11,000 per cubic millimeter of blood. Thrombocytes is about 1.5 to 4 lakh per millimeter of mercury. The lifespan of these blood cells are in case of electrocyte, this is 120 days. And for leukocytes, there are different type of leukocytes. So in granulocytes, this is about 4 to 8 hours. And for monocytes, 10 to 20 hours. And for lymphocytes, this is weeks or months. And in case of thrombocytes, the lifespan is 8 to 12 days. In our body, the condition higher increased blood volume in case of infant or high altitude, high temperature, muscular exercise, pregnancy, and decreased blood volume in the case of hemorrhage, anemia, burn, acute exposure to the cold. The properties of blood, the color is red or due to peculiar order due to presence of volatile fatty acid. Taste is salty due to presence of inorganic salt pH is slightly alkaline that is 7.35 to 7.45. This pH value is necessary for the maintenance of enzymatic activity, cellular viability, and neurovascular irritability. The specific gravity is about 1.05 to 1.060. The viscosity of blood is about 3 to 5 times more viscous than water. Osmolarity is about 300 milliosmol per liter. Osmotic pressure is about 25 millimeter of mercury. Temperature is about 36 to 38 degrees Celsius. Almost all of the blood cells form in the red bone marrow. The composition of the blood is what? The 55 percent is plasma and form element is 45 percent. What is plasma? Plasma is a liquid portion of the blood which is yellowish in color. This is about 5% of our total body weight that means 3.5 liter in case of 70 kg adult male and this is the 25% of ECF. 
in plasma there is plasma protein which are actually a complex mixture that include not only simple protein but also conjugated protein such as glycoprotein and various types of lipoprotein the composition of the water here 91 to 92 percent is water solid is 8 to 9 percent here organic and inorganic substance which shows instable the gaseous substance are oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen in dissolved state what is serum when fibrinogen is removed from plasma as a result of coagulation such plasma without fibrinogen is called serum it is different from plasma only by the absence of fibrinogen so serum equal to plasma minus fibrinogen when blood is collected in a container it clots fibrinogen is converted into fibrin and blood cells are trapped into this fibrin and forming the blood clot after about 45 minutes serum oozes out of the blood clot which is clear straw in color for clinical investigation serum is separated from blood cell and clotting element by centrifuging this is the difference between the plasma and serum what are the plasma protein these are four types serum albumin serum globulin fibrinogen and prothrombin serum contains only albumin and globulin the value of this plasma protein total plasma protein is about 6.4 to 8.3 g per deciliter the individual value in case of albumin 4.8 g per deciliter serum globulin 2.3 g per deciliter fibrinogen is about 0.3 g per deciliter and for prothrombin it is about 0.1 g per deciliter during infancy the total plasma protein concentration is about 5 to 5.5 g per deciliter which is below the normal adult range this decrease in plasma concentration is due to low albumin concentration as in the first 6 month of pregnancy the albumin and globulin concentration decreases but concentration of fibrinogen increases here we want to show you the origin of plasma protein in case of adult and in case of embryo in functions of albumin here at first we want to say it creates 80% of total collateral osmotic pressure it maintain the viscosity it helps in buffer action it determine the specific gravity it acts the carrier in case of globulin it forms the antibody 20% of collateral osmotic pressure and beta globulin acts as binding vector for transport of iron as transpyrin it also acts as buffer maintaining viscosity and helps formation of rolex formation the functions of the fibrinogen is play an essential role in blood coagulation maintain the viscosity increase the suspension stability of rbc and also help in buffer action the functions of the prothrombin is in blood coagulation in properties of blood plasma there are nine properties at first diversity of plasma protein isoelectric point buffer action molecular weight and shape osmotic effect viscosity electrophoretic mobility transport action and solubility at first diversity of plasma protein there are four sub heading these are precipitation by salt fractional precipitation sedimentation in ultra centrifuge and electrophoretic separation of plasma protein at first precipitation by salt different proteins are precipitated from solution by adding different concentration of salt this method of separation gives a mean normal plasma albumin and globulin ratio is about 1.7 is to 1 reverse ratio occur in liver and kidney disease fractional precipitation in order to isolation individual plasma protein which are fractions with a low salt concentration at low temperature varying ph modifying this condition by adding alcohol by this method six functional protein are obtained sedimentation in ultra centrifuge different proteins are sediment at different rates In this method albumin globulin fibrinogen are separated electrophoretic separation of plasma protein in this method separation of plasma protein on the basis of electrophoretic mobility 
the movement of charged particles in an electrical field towards the opposite charged electrode is called electrophoresis. Then isoelectric point. It is an intermediate pH. The plasma protein molecules carries equal number of positive and negative charge. Hence, has a net charge is zero. This pH value for electrical neutrality is called isoelectric point. Plasma protein can ionize either as acid or base, owing to the fact that the side change of their constituent amino acid contain an amino acid and a carboxyl group. The isoelectric point for albumin is about 4.7 and for globulin is about 5.7 and for fibrinogen it is about 5.8. Buffer action. Plasma protein act as a buffer by virtue of their power of acceptance. Molecular weight of albumin is about 69,000, globulin is about 1,40,000 and fibrinogen is about 3,30,000. Penetration through capillary wall depends not only the size but also the shape of the molecule. Here, albumin passes more rapidly than others. And then, osmotic effect. Protein molecules are colloid and unable to pass through the capillary membrane and exert pressure. This influences the exchange of fluid between fluid and tissue space by osmosis. The plasma protein normally have an osmotic effect of about 28 mm of mercury. This osmotic pressure normally prevents significant loss of fluid volume from blood to the interstitial space. Then viscosity. Plasma protein and blood corpuscle contributes equally to the total viscosity of the blood. Viscosity depends far more on the shape of the molecule than the size. The resistance of the flow of blood through the capillary depends almost entirely on the viscosity of blood. The viscosity of blood thus a factor in the maintenance of peripheral resistance, thereby arterial blood pressure. Electrophoretic mobility. When a solution of mixed protein is placed in an electrical field with electric pole at the end, the contained protein move at different rates. Albumin move first, gamma globulin move slowest, and others move intermediate rates. In acid solution, protein moves toward the negative charge, and in alkaline solution, protein moves toward the positive charge area. In transport action, plasma protein combines loosely with many chemical agents. These are hormones, metals, fatty acids, steroids, numerous drugs, and acts as a binding vehicles for transport. Then solubility. Albumin is soluble in distilled water and salt solution, but globulin is insoluble in distilled water but soluble in salt solution. In case of fibrinogen, it is insoluble both distilled water and salt solution. Thank you for your patience hearing.